Good morning, my name is Greg Tripoli. I'm the Executive Director of the Onondaga Historical Association. I'd like to welcome all of you here this morning. I'd like to acknowledge representatives. Uh, well, I know Christine is here, Christine Fix from uh, Magnarelli, Assemblyman Magnarelli's office, Carolyn DeCuny from Senator Schumer's office. I believe there are also representatives here from Assemblyman Barkley Roberts, Senator Steve Francisco, uh, Valeski, Senator Gillibrand, and Congressman Burkle. I'd also like to welcome uh, today Dr. Sally Roche Wagner from the Matilda Jocelyn Gage Center, Mayor Stephanie Miner, County Executive Joni Mahoney, and representing the nation, the Onondaga Nation, Tadadaho Sidney Hill, Faith Keepers Tony Gagne, Wendy Gagne, Chief Jake Edwards, and their General Counsel Joseph Heath. The compelling and fascinating history of the Haudenosaunee is part of our collective shared history. It helps define and identify who we are as a community. The influence of the Haudenosaunee culture has helped shape everything from women's rights movement to sports, from a greater respect for our environment to the very configuration of our national government. Its influence on our local and national identities is all-encompassing and everlasting. To honor this great heritage of the Haudenosaunee, and particularly the Onondaga Nation, the native inhabitants of this land, and the wampum keepers of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, OHA has voluntarily repatriated from our collections sacred items and items of cultural patrimony to the Onondaga Nation. This repatriation, the actual physical repatriation, has evolved over the past several months and has included human skeletal remains, ceremonial masks, and it culminates today with the transfer of this wampum belt dating from 1800. I'd like to thank the staff and the board of the OHA for their diligence, their knowledge, and their support, especially Tom Hunter, our curator of collections, Dennis Connors, our senior curator of history, and our volunteer, Barbara Rawlings. I'd like to thank Dr. David Smith and the folks at Upstate Medical Center for the use of their imaging equipment to help us more thoroughly document this belt. I'd also like to thank my good friend, Dr. Sally Roche Wagner, for introducing me to my new friends at the nation. As a Women's Studies Authority and as Executive Director of the Matilda Jocelyn Gage Center, Sally knows well the influence of the Haudenosaunee on issues of civil and equal rights. I would also like to thank clan mother Dorothy Webster for first bringing to my attention approximately three years ago the fact that some of these items were in the collections of OHA. I'd like to thank Joe Heath and his entire office for all of their assistance from the very beginning of this process. And I would particularly and especially like to thank Tadadaho Sidney Hill, Faith Keeper Orrin Lyons, Faith Keeper Tony Gagne, Faith Keeper Wendy Gagne and Chief Jake Edwards for their cooperation, their support, their honesty, their guidance, and their patience. This story, uh, written about first by Sean Kirst for the Post Standard, has been picked up and repeated pretty much uh, by countless newspapers and other reporters across the country. Someone else who's drawing positive national attention to Onondaga County is our County Executive, Joni Mahoney. <coughs> The County Executive Save the Rain program is quickly becoming a national model and speaks to issues that are close to the heart of both Joni Mahoney and the Haudenosaunee, environmental <coughs> protection, preservation, and restoration. It's just one of the reasons why Joni was named one of Governing Magazine's nine public officials of the year. So I'd like to thank the County Executive for all of her support for this repatriation and for many of OHA's initiatives throughout the county. It's my great pleasure now to invite the County Executive to the podium for her remarks. Good morning. I'm very happy to be here and to be able to participate in this um, unprecedented event as far as um, I am aware. And it's interesting, um, Greg, your remarks were, uh, were excellent. You covered a lot of ground. Um, but it's interesting that in my introduction you would talk about Save the Rain because I have relied uh, a lot on the Haudenosaunee 
and on the friends that I've made, uh, Chief Lyons, uh, Chief Hill, and, and the others, um, for their guidance and their wisdom, their knowledge. Um, they have really, when, when I came into office and we brought the Haudenosaunee to the conversation through Joe Heath and his staff, it changed everything in terms of our vision for the lake and our respect for the lake and uh, what it means not only to the Haudenosaunee but to all of us and the birth of democracy there on the shores of Onondaga Lake and uh, the countless hours that people like Warren Lyons have spent educating me and, and Greg used the word patience. Uh, that is a word that really exemplifies what my relationship has been with the Haudenosaunee. There's been a tremendous amount of patience on their part in educating us in a way that we really should have been educated all along. And it makes me really proud to be in the community that would have attention drawn to a wrong by this clan mother. And what a, what a wonderful uh, thing for it to have come to the ears of somebody like Greg Tripoli, who I have known and admired for the last several years as well, and for Greg to hear that we as a community have a wrong that needs to be righted. There's nobody whose hands I would rather leave it in, and I want to thank his staff here at OHA and the board for their support, and uh, most importantly, I want to thank the Haudenosaunee for everything that you have done for me personally, for this community, for our country, and I would echo Greg's uh, words in thanking you for your patience. We want to do the right thing. We continue to need your guidance and your wisdom and your friendship. And I'm honored uh, to be here today to participate in this repatriation. Thank you very much. Thank you. The Haudenosaunee consider the effects that their actions will have some seven generations into the future. Our mayor, the Honorable Stephanie Miner, is also someone who understands the importance of the role of history in shaping the legacy that we all will leave. The mayor is also someone who knows when to leave the past in the past, to concentrate and to focus on the future. Former Lieutenant Governor Ravitch recently described Mayor Miner as one of those few mayors that he has met, and he's met plenty, who actually does consider future effects of current day decisions. I'd like to thank you, Mayor, for all of your support and our many joint initiatives and collaborations to add value to our city and to encourage its economic, its cultural, and its educational development. I'd like to invite the mayor to the podium at this time for a statement. Thank you, Greg. I am, am pleased to be here to be part of the leadership that is really trying to move this community forward. And by doing so, recognizing that we have a past to be proud of, and yet we've made mistakes in the past, but mistakes that we can correct. And recognizing the, the sacred and where we have come from and being able to do this in a, in a way that is respectful of our neighbors to the south and also recognizes the important history that they have given us and that we are where we are in large part because of their leadership throughout the ages. And again, through your leadership, through the county executive's leadership, and of course um, through the leadership of the Haudenosaunee, I'm just uh, really very grateful that I have a chance to be here today to uh, witness this. So thank you all very much. <laughs>